Blue's Clues star Steve Burns was pretty much every late 90s kid's pretend best friend, as he took them on colorful new mysteries around the house and outside with his trusty pooch pal. The show, which centered on Steve and his dog Blue, making an interactive adventure of even the simplest things like checking the mail, ranked right up there with popular contemporaries like Barney, the Teletubbies, and Winnie the Pooh. So when Steve suddenly disappeared from the hit program and was replaced at the height of his popularity, the rumor mill went haywire, even going so far as to declare the young show host had died to explain his unexpected departure. Luckily, Steve is still alive and well, even though his former fans might not be able to spot him walking around town. I'm completely unrecognizable now. What he's been up to since taking his leave of the small screen might just surprise you. Here's what's become of former Blue's Clues star Steve Burns. Exit Signs The obvious first question most people have about what happened to Steve Burns is, why did the guy leave the show right in the middle of its prime? No, he didn't have some other lucrative offer luring him away, nor did he fall into a pit of depression. But he did start to lose his hair and watch some behind-the-scenes creatives take their leave too. So for him, it was just time to go when he did. There were also a few practical considerations at play. It was crazy. Um, and it was awesome, but it was, it was not exactly the kind of thing that I would think would ever get me a date. One of the other factors that had Steve questioning his reality while he was such a central kid show icon is whether the wacky messages he was delivering to so many millions of little ones were actually worthy of their attention. You can do anything that you want to do, but I couldn't help thinking, you know, is that true? Still alive. Blue's Clues might have come along during the advent of the internet age, but pop culture urban legends still loom large at the time. Somehow, rumors spread like wildfire that Steve died of a drug overdose or a grisly car wreck in between seasons 4 and 5. Even though in the last episode of season 4, Steve introduced his own replacement, Steve's brother Joe, played by Donovan Patton for the final two seasons of the show. In 2017, he spoke to Tech Insider about the persistent death hoax. To be rumored dead for 15 years starts to feel disturbingly like uh, a cultural preference. Nowadays, Burns makes light of the rumors with the Twitter handle at Steve Burns Live to both have fun with the misunderstanding and clear it up. Making art. Although Burns hasn't nearly reclaimed the same level of fame that he had on Blues Clues, he hasn't shelved his stack of old headshots entirely just yet. He appeared on stage for The Moth to wax poetic with a true life telling of his time as a children's TV show star, and also starred in the Flaming Lips weird space-centric holiday video. He's also been starring on webisodes of small YouTube shows like The Professionals, and even appearing alongside another blue storytelling pal for Bizarro Studios' Herman Scary Stories series. Of course, those cameos alone probably aren't enough to pay the bills, and his Blue's Clues residuals can't last forever. I wanted to know how you've been doing with my money. Well, broke. So, Burns has been steadily moving forward on that music career he's been working on for so long all the while. He fulfilled his own childhood dream by releasing his own record, and when his solo act wasn't hacking it, he linked up with the Flaming Lips alum Stephen Drozd to begin working on an album. Thanks to the popularity of Blue's Clues with a producer's kid, Steve was well known before he ever made his big pitch. Hey, it's not like he hadn't shown off his skills on the show already. The two have since formed a project called Steve and Steven, and put together a trippy kids album called For Everywhere, which drops in February 2017. Free Time Although his music making and random acting jobs are fun enough, Steve Burns also has enough time to bring his fans in on some of his other obsessions like taking pictures of every Walmart sign he sees, and yes, even the occasional bit of nostalgia and puns about his former life as Steve of Blue's Clues. Although the show is now far in the past for Steve Burns, he does have a few reminders lying around the house for old time's sake. The chair sits in my, in my study. Uh, I love it. I have the original notebook. I have the first three clues, which is cool. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love, too.